Decentraland versus Sandbox, a comparison between Decentraland and Sandbox. The term metaverse was introduced by author Neil Stevenson in his science fiction novel Snow Crash in 1992. Stevenson imagined a world in which lifelike avatars would interact in realistic 3D VR technology in his novel. The metaverse has now become a reality. It is a shared digital world in which people's digital representations can interact with one another. Both Decentraland and The Sandbox have metaverse versions. But what's the difference? Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. The video is for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll talk about the difference between Decentraland and Sandbox. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Decentraland and Sandbox – What's the Difference? Decentraland consists of 90,601 land units, individual parcels, estates, many parcels, districts, parcels with similar themes, and plazas are the different types of land parcels, untradable community-owned parcels. Tokens in Decentraland are classified into three types – mana, ware, and land. However, the sandbox features 166,464 plots of land that can be divided into estates, owned by a single person, or districts, owned by multiple people. Tokens in the sandbox are divided into four categories – sand, assets, games, and land. One of the primary differences between the two platforms is their age. Decentraland is the more experienced of the two, having pioneered the 3D blockchain metaverse. It was the first to produce a working proof of concept and currently offers a publicly available game. While on the other hand, the sandbox is only available in alpha form to the general public. The sandbox is not yet run by a DAO, although Decentraland is. It's worth noting that Sandbox appears to have a more clear and solid plan for the future than its rival Decentraland. This could be an advantage of being governed by a centralized authority with game industry experience rather than a DAO. The graphics in the Sandbox are currently superior to those in Decentraland. To access the Sandbox, users must first download a Windows application. On the other hand, Decentraland also supports peer-to-peer -peer communication without allowing a centralized server to hear what you are saying. History of Decentraland and Sandbox Esteban Ordano and Ariel Milik launched the Decentraland Foundation in 2015. The Decentraland Foundation is the organization responsible for the creation of the Decentraland software. The intellectual property rights are held by the Decentraland Foundation, which also runs the Decentraland website. In 2017, the company organized an initial coin offering, or ICO, to raise 86,206 Ethereum to fund the development of Decentraland. Decentraland was made available to the general public in January 2020. The Sandbox was first released as a mobile game on May 15, 2012. Pixel, a game studio, created this mobile game. The Sandbox, a 2012 mobile game, was named for the fact that it gave users the tools they needed to design their own nonlinear gameplay, sometimes known as a Sandbox mode. Animoca Brand purchased the Sandbox brand in 2018. Animoca Brands then began work on the well-known blockchain 3D open-world metaverse we know today, under the same brand as the prior mobile game. The Sandbox raised $2.01 million in cash and cryptocurrency in 2019 to fuel its development. SoftBank sponsored another $93 million investment in the Sandbox in November 2021. Sandbox versus Decentraland in terms of support Many well-known and respected companies have backed Decentraland. FBG Capital, CoinFund, and Digital Currency Group are among these companies. Decentraland has also collaborated with Cyberpunk, Polygon, Samsung, and the South Korean government. On the other hand, SoftBank is one of the Sandbox's most significant investors. SoftBank, headquartered in Minato, Tokyo, is a Japanese multinational corporate holding firm that specializes on investment management. SoftBank invests largely in companies in the technology, energy, and financial industries. SoftBank is one of the world's largest investment organizations, 
and it has backed a number of other companies, including Uber, WeWork, and Slack. So, having such a big partner makes Sandbox a good competitor of the Decentraland. Overall, both of these initiatives are intriguing in their own way. Decentraland has an edge in some areas, while Sandbox has an advantage in others. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.